Hi there and welcome to the next episode in my Citroen Relay van build series. Um, it's been a few weeks since the last video, hasn't it? I, I've just been busy, been busy. What can I do? Um, in this video, just a, a, a little short quick one really, um, uh, I'm doing a little upgrade to one of my cables on my Renogy 2000 watt inverter. Uh, and I have noticed the last couple of times we've been away, um, when I've been running um, uh, about a thousand watt um, load on it, um, primarily the microwave to be honest, it's, uh, it's an 800 watt microwave but when it's running it pulls just over a thousand uh, watts. Um, the, the cable connecting the inverter to the, the, the batteries or the, uh, the Lynx distributor power in whatever you want to call it um, is, is getting a little bit warm. I mean only tiny bit warm. It's a 35 mil cable which is what was recommended in the Renogy um, blurb that came with the inverter. Uh, but it is getting just a, a teeny bit warm and um, I, I'm one of those sort of people I don't like warm in cables, don't like warm cables. The warm cables worry me so uh, it's time for a bit of an upgrade so we're going to uh, change that out to a big chunky 50 mil cable which uh, which hopefully will uh, remedy that problem. So let's crack into it. Okay trying to position myself in such a way that I don't shadow on the table. Look at that that's awkward isn't it but still never mind let's crack on. So there's the uh, 35 mil cable which I've uh, which I've already uh, taken out with the uh, the breaker in it. Um, here, freshly ordered off of Sleaze Bay, I've got my uh, new 50 mil uh, cable and some new uh, lugs as well. And uh, moving along, we've got the uh, red and black uh, tape there to uh, to wrap the ends because uh, actually in my pack of uh, heat shrink here, even that biggest one you can see on the right hand side. Um, isn't anywhere be near big enough for 50 mil cable, so that's a bit of a bust. Um, so just like I did with the uh, the old ones, I don't know whether you can see that or not. Um, it's just wrapped in red uh, insulation on the on the end, and obviously black on the black one. So we're going to do the same again. Um, the old crimpers are there, and uh, that's about all I'm going to need really. It's a fairly straightforward job, isn't it? Oh, incidentally, I thought I would just uh, point out here as well, just a second, and that is. These uh, these multi packs of, um, of of lugs that you can buy off eBay and uh, Amazon are absolutely disgusting. Right? It's the cheapest, most awful things you you will ever spend your hard earned cash on. So don't do that. Get the uh, the the proper jobs, which you can see uh, are sort of beveled on the end there. Look. Um, a proper uh, decent quality lug. You can order these from Amazon and eBay and also you'll find your local uh, motorist shop like your independent motorist shop will also uh, sell you these um, individually uh, and they're only a few pennies each in actual fact so uh, check out your local independent uh, motorist shop as well because you might be pleasantly surprised at what you can get from there. Right let's uh, measure these cables out and uh, get chopping. Right, first things first, let's cut these cables to the appropriate length. Uh, so I'm going to go from here. I actually want this a little bit longer than it was before. So I've had a measure up, and because uh, it was a little bit tight at one end, the, the curve was a bit tight. So I want a bit more on there just to give me uh, plenty. So I'm going to go to going to go to about there actually. I should do the trick. easiest cable to cut is it but uh, these uh, these snips seem to be doing the, the trick although you need a couple of a uh, couple of attempts at it and I'll do the red one to exactly the same length but for now let's concentrate on the black one so I don't know whether this is right or wrong but this is the way I do it um, so I just kind of offer the uh, the, the lug up to the side of it there, like so, to where I want the cable to uh, come to, and then just simply score the, the sheathing there, the appropriate depth, and then basically just run the blade round. So we're just 
teasing the uh, the end off there. I'm probably just push that off now. There. Did I get any cores? No, that came off quite cleanly, so all good. Like so. And then that should all fit nicely into there. Get it pushed right up in. Like so. Set these to the appropriate uh, size. Use that one. Like that. And we're ready to go. Give it a good pull, make sure it's not coming off, that's all right. And then uh, wrap it up in the old insulation tape. Right to the, the end there. Right, there we go. That's one end done. Now I'll do the uh, the other three ends, the other end of the black one and the red one, and then we'll be ready to uh, refit this in the van. Right here we are, back in the uh, back in the garage again. This is a uh, this is a nice tight squeeze under the beds here now, I tell you. And uh, right, so here's the old inverter on top of the uh, the wheel arch, and uh, we need to attend to this end here where the uh, the lugs are. And uh, so I'm going to do that in first, and then we'll move uh, move down to the uh, to the business end of things, so to speak. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is. This is a uh, wifey's washing uh, washing line that hangs on the window. You know, one of those things just uh, just clipped here to the side so it doesn't uh, roll about. Right. Okay. So I've uh, I've deliberately put uh, two two different size holes uh, there. There's an eight mil and a ten mil and uh, the 10 mil is going to go this end and the 8 mil is going to go the the links uh links end so first of all remember to get the old uh, the old cover on and uh put them on the floor here somewhere yep i've got all my nuts and bolts still so let's get that uh get that in there Now another thing I am doing as well, um, at the same time, is uh, I'm changing out all the uh, all the nuts I've been using to uh, to nylocks because uh, when I took the Lynx uh, distributor apart, I noticed that uh, a couple of them were only uh, what you'd best describe as finger tight, uh, which is uh, far from ideal, isn't it? So obviously they've, uh, as you know, as I've been driving around, they've uh, they've kind of shook loose a little bit. So uh, we don't want uh, we don't want that. And of course, it's at this point now you also think I can help but think that might have been better to have done the positive in the corner first before that one's in the way, but hey, that's a part of the fun, isn't it? Part of the fun. Right. There. Right. Right, let's move back. Right, okay. Now we're at the, uh, at the business end of things. So, get these, uh, these cables in first. So I'm going to tuck the black one in behind there first, because that goes, uh, underneath of course right okay get a, a washer on there and uh, like I mentioned the uh, the nuts that come with the um, with the links here 
are, uh, are like this and uh, they were all kind of shaking loose so I got a nice big bag of uh, nylox here the uh, stainless steel variety which you can tell by the A2 on the label uh, so we're going to use these and then at the same time I'm also going to replace uh, replace these other ones uh, with nylox as well just for bow and braces on that to uh, stop the old toe rag from, uh, from coming loose so Knox is to get the older mega fuse back in if I can see what I did with it there he is oh hang on I had a washer on the bottom there first didn't I to uh, make that the right uh, depth that's it and that goes in like that. One washer on the top of both of those. And a couple of uh, nylocks. That shouldn't have any power in it. Okay, there we go. So we now have uh, 50 mil cables coming out the bottom of the links. Uh, just tagged them to the side of the van there up above luck. And some nice gentle sweeps into the uh, into the terminals here at the back there. And uh, we'll give that a run for, uh, for a few trips and um, see whether that does the trick and uh, stops them from getting uh, getting warm. So hopefully that will do uh, do the trick, and uh, uh, and I think the moral to that one, from from my experience anyway, and and uh, you know like uh, pretty well all van builders, and uh, other than those that do it you know professionally for a living, um, you know we're not trained electricians, we're not qualified in any way, but we just use our own common sense really, don't we? Uh, and I think a good golden rule if you're just starting your van build is uh, always upsize your cables by at least uh, by at least one you know so if um, if you do your calculations and you work out that you need a 1.5 mil for your light circuit put a 2.5 in you know just for belt and braces on it if you need a 16 mil cable running from uh, something to something put a 25 mil in just for belt and braces on it you know and then you, you know you're never going to go far wrong on that are you it's always uh, a good uh, good method to uh, to adopt i think because uh, although cable isn't particularly cheap, of course, um, you know, especially uh, especially these days, but um, it's uh, it's much easier to uh, upsize and do that while you're building it than find you've got a cable getting on the warm side and have to go back to it again in a later date because you still got that cost and uh, and the pain in the backside of actually trying to do it. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.